Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us an equation, Q, relating Q, K, A, P, and M. And then they give us a table of A, P, M, and Q values from two different samples where one P value is missing. So the first step in this problem is to identify what our constant K is using the sample one values from the table. So we're going to plug in everything we know in that sample one column to our equation. So the Q value on the left side of the equation is 79.06. We know that A is 12. We know that P is 16. And we know that M is 17. So the goal is to isolate K on the right side. It may be easier to go ahead and identify what is 12 times 16 divided by 17. 12 times 16 all divided by 17 and we get approximately 11.294. So what we have is that 79.06 equals 11.294 K. All right, so now we want to get K by itself by dividing by 11.294. All right, so our K value will be 79.06 all divided by 11.294. And we get approximately 7, 7 7.000. So they say round K to the nearest integer. So that would be 7 in this case. Now that we have our K value, we move on to the sample 2 values and we plug in everything we know, including k equals 7, to solve for that empty p value. So our q value is 77. Our k value is 7. Our a value is 11. We do not know our p value. And then we're dividing by m, which in this case is also 7. So very nice looking equation here because what will happen is 7 on the outside will cancel with this 7 on the bottom. And all we're left with is 77 equals 11p. And then to solve for p or get p by itself, we'll just divide by 11. And it turns out that p is also equal to 7 for sample 2. So we break out the eraser and we see that d is our answer. I'll do one more example of this. Feel free to check it out.